Good morning. Coming to you in the light here <clears throat> on this Saturday morning and wanting to talk to you a bit about some of my recent realizations about things like anxiety, which I realize so many of us feel challenged with, already did before this year. And really I've been recognizing that I'm someone who has always had feelings of anxiety that are going on and I just didn't even know what to call it. Cause I think, you know, look years ago, we weren't even really talking about anxiety like we are now. So I appreciate the awareness and the attention so that more of us can be sensitive and aware and noticing when we're feeling things like anxiety, when we're struggling with anxiety and how to work with that, how to deal with that, how to shift that, how to love ourselves through that, right? How to understand this thing called anxiety. So I realize that I come to this from my very personal experience and continue to, because even now my practices help me so much to be so much more calm, so much more grounded, to really tune my energy because that's been an awareness for me as I'm someone in the world of holistic health and recognizing everything as energy. When we look at something like anxiety, we can realize and remember it's all energy. So those feelings, those sensations, the thoughts associated with it, the physiology that goes with it, all of it is energy. So as I've come to recognize that with myself and as I help others with this, we can also see that it does always have a mind aspect, right? A body aspect, and often even a spiritual or like more soulful aspect. And that's where I love to see that the therapy, a lot of these things that I get to share that I could call yoga, and I always love to share and preach that yoga just means to connect, to join, anything that creates that for us. So if we see that anxiety often goes with feelings of disconnection spiritually, right? and even disconnect between our mind-body in ways that we are still seeing the power and the very real truth of that mind-body connection, right? But maybe we're feeling kind of out of control with it and in real challenge and fear with it, right? Which only can build that anxiety often. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and share that I, like you, deal with, battle with, struggle with feelings of anxiety and especially this year more than ever right and even especially right now we can feel it and even to recognize that it's all energy and how much we are also connected speaking of connection that means that we also are feeling each other's energy right and so that's part of our feelings of things like anxiety is our very real awareness and connection with each other so we're feeling each other whether we're in person with each other or not, right? So all sorts of reasons too. There may be, and there very much are real world reasons why we may be feeling anxiety right now, right? In the past, maybe some of us, we've had anxiety and we don't even know why. And that can be equally fearful and unsettling to not even know why we're having feelings of anxiety. But I think right now in these current times, if we're having anxiety, we can maybe even more see why with, if we're, watching what's happening in the world, especially who we're listening to, is part of probably why we're feeling that anxiety and also the very real aspects of how the hardness of this year have affected so many of us, right? Whether it's in loved ones getting sick or worrying about that, whether it's in economic hardship or worrying about that, right? All the uncertainty, all the disconnection with each other because also part of what we realize in how important our connection is to how we feel is also our feelings of connection with each other, right? So the disconnect of this year in so many ways with our not being able to see each other or be with each other is probably a big reason too why a lot of us might be battling with things like anxiety. So I'm finding more than ever, I wanna root into what works for me, how things like, yes, my use of very gentle even, Definitely calming poses help me a lot to stay on top of those feelings of anxiety and help me manage that, help me lessen that, help me stay on top of that, help me stay out of the dramatic experiences of that. 
and then you hear me <laughs> breathing because breathing is a big practice of mine that I've been learning and honing and and sharing over the years as a yoga therapist and teacher with people because it is such a tool and again primarily because it's helping us manage our energy so getting into things like just the simplest use of breath a lot of it has to do with our attention our awareness our focus just giving ourselves time to see how we're doing feel how we're doing and even feel some of the feelings that are underneath that anxiety and that's where we get to do a lot of that in all sorts of forms of meditation and that's where meditation is not just about being quiet but really just being with ourselves listening to ourselves feeling our stuff and then using some of the ways that we can to help ourselves through that which include things like breath and relaxing really help presence yes quieting that mind yes connecting that mind spiritually too in our awareness and our focus but also yeah looking at what is part of why we're feeling anxious often is important so that's part of what we get out of a lot of these practices is just becoming more aware of what's actually going on for us what we're actually thinking about feeling about worrying about remembering and how that is lightly playing into our anxiety right and then of course we want to look at who we're listening to what are the ways that we are feeding ourselves because those are playing into how we're feeling so if we're feeling a lot of anxiety we might want to take a look at what we're doing that may be feeding that growing that if we're really wanting to lessen that in our lives <sighs> so I'm feeling like, yeah, over these coming weeks, I'm going to be sharing more about anxiety, what I've seen works, what I'm using with myself. And this is the first thing I always want to bring up is this awareness that it's all energy and that it's important that we start to find ways to manage our energy, right? And that's why I like the word tuning because we can see that really whatever we're doing is tuning us. So how we're feeling is because of what we're doing and how we're tuning ourselves. So if we're feeling things like anxiety, if that's something that we're challenged with, like I've been sharing that I too can really feel in sense in a lot of ways more than ever right now, that we can recognize it as anxiety. Hey, James. Yeah. And, but also realizing, giving time to see what's behind that anxiety. What are we thinking? What are we feeling? Right. Not just numbing it, not just shifting it, understanding it more. Right. And loving ourselves through that. That's where also that kindness and compassion we can bring in. And then, yeah. Like James says, it's tuning into the right frequency and realizing that what we're tuning into is tuning us. So again, if we're really battling with anxiety, take a look at who you're listening to, what you're watching, what you're reading, who you're talking to, and how that's playing into it because that's part of a more conscious lifestyle, right? To just be more conscious <laughs> of what's happening there and how that's playing a role in how you're feeling, right? So really, just the heart of the story is it's about our taking ownership of how we're feeling realizing those feelings of anxiety it's all energy and there are mind aspects body aspects spiritual aspects and then as we attend to all those aspects we're going to help ourselves right so that's where also just our spiritual practices can be really a solution for those feelings of anxiety just doing things that help us reconnect whatever that is for you it might be music it might be walking it might be nature it might be journaling it might be any forms of meditation which all of those are forms of meditation maybe dancing that's a big one for me um yeah and that yeah we can call all of this yoga if you want sometimes i think about throwing out the word yoga <laughs> as my description of what i do because i i know you think i just mean downward dog but then i realize nope i can remind you yoga just means union to join to connect so whether or not you use poses to do that which i do recommend something with your body whether it's some perfect poses for you or anything that gets you in your body and helps you tune the energy in your body, which is part of that anxiety. So for a lot of us, we notice like for me, the more I move and getting the right movements in as far as attending to my body really help. And if I'm getting anxious and having like anxiety, I often notice the more I move, things like dance, super transformative because it's energy, it's energy medicine right energy work we're doing with ourselves but that's also where things like breath is a huge energy tool you have for yourself so just using that more which every time i say that i can remind myself <laughs> just slower longer relaxing breaths and yeah just practicing relaxing just practicing the opposite of anxious is an idea too and a lot of what we get in these practices is that reminder to get back in relaxation mode because it's healthier 
we feel happier, it just works better. Again, because our energy flows so much differently when we're relaxed. So that's part of why all these <laughs> traditions help us just relax more and return to homeostasis and really calm that nervous system. And yeah, so I think I'll call this to a close soon. Yeah, and, and James thinks like Tai Chi, which I would say also Tai Chi is a form of yoga because Tai Chi helps us reconnect, right? And it's obviously a mind, body, soul, spirit practice. And I'm not even sure, maybe we could also say yoga is a form of Tai Chi <laughs> as I learn more what those words actually mean. I know Chi means energy, right? So, hmm, yeah. So that's where just owning that it's all energy is gonna help us with anything, but especially with something like anxiety. And that's where even the way I frame it nowadays, I don't tell people, oh yeah, I have anxiety. I tell people I have a lot of energy. <laughs> and if I don't manage it, then I'm an anxious wreck, right? And if I do manage it, I still have a lot of energy, which is great. And I could also say that's the yoga, the things I'm doing to connect myself and manage my energy also help me have a lot of energy as a 50 year old woman. <laughs> But also, it helps me manage my energy because I find often I feel like I have too much energy. And if I don't do some of my daily things, which I've decided work for me, like my journaling, which really gets me into my head and out of my head and clearer in my head and reconnects me spiritually, it's energy work. So that journaling is one of my biggies. Daily mat practice, I do my personalized mat practice, which is what I create for other people with the poses. 15 to 20 minutes that are just right for me on the mat always tunes my energy perfectly. So that's the reason I always make time for that. And then what I'm listening to, whether it's music, audios, or things I'm doing, especially in my mornings to tune me because mornings we have a fresh start. So it really is important to take advantage of that. And yeah, if I didn't do my journaling, my mat practice, if I didn't you know, pay attention to what I'm listening to, uh, I would be showing up a lot different here. I probably wouldn't be showing up here at all <laughs> because I'd be so wrapped up in my too much energy or I could even call it anxiety. So yeah, and then the more I add things like walking, time in nature, dancing, those are just some more of the ways that I realize I tune my energy, but it's also because they all help tune my mind, tune into my mind and what I'm doing with my mind and then re-decide <laughs> what I'm doing with my mind, right? So that's what we're doing with the mind practices, which include quieting it and reconnecting it spiritually, right? Getting back in that perspective is huge. How much less anxious are we gonna be if we're remembering, oh yeah, I wanna have faith. Oh yeah, I do believe in God or the universe, right? Like even just that, doing things to remind ourselves of that, which of course is a practice of yoga, <laughs> but things like spiritual study, that's that, why that's one of the limbs of yoga even in the traditional senses is, because that's something that's gonna help us reconnect. The more we're doing something like that each day, how much different are we gonna feel and think and focus and function if we're just doing something each day? That's where I love some of my Christian friends. You see it so clearly. If they're, they like the Bible, right? They'll study some scripture and scripture is so cool because you can look at one sentence, one sentence, and it changes your day, right? And if you look back at it throughout the day, so you could say that's a form of meditation, right? Because it's helping you train your focus, helping you bring into yourself into the moment. It's a use of mantra, the power of our words, by focusing on words, right? And and then and maybe you even say it out loud. That's another power because our our words are part of how we're tuning ourselves, right? Energy there. So it can be super simple, but that's where yeah, just that aspect alone, doing our our stuff, whatever reconnects you spiritually. Or maybe just taking a walk in nature and remembering how cool life is in the earth. Or again, things that help us feel more connected to other people are part of yoga, feeling more connected. So if we're feeling disconnected, reaching out to people so that we can feel more connected, reaching out, whether we're reaching out to see how we can help them or letting them know that we need help, right? Like I've been so aware of how that helps on both aspects as far as how we're feeling in our mental health and something like anxiety. So. Yes, and then yeah, back to just the simplest things like breath. Even if we just did that differently today, just a few more times today, especially if we're noticing we're feeling anxious, just slow down that breath, lengthen out that breath, let that relax us, realize how much it's, it's helping us because it's managing our energy. But it's also managing our focus, right? And our attention, getting it. Yeah, so it's great stuff and I love sharing it and 
especially along the topics of things like anxiety. So thanks for listening, guys. Reach out if I can help you with any of your practices and your understanding of how to work with your anxiety or someone you love. So love you so much. Have a good one out there. Thanks for being here. Namaste.